Okay, so that dungeon sucks. It's done. Seventeenth of Earth. It's done forever. Fuck that place. I'm never going back down there. <laughs> um. Did you see Nibis? Did you leave before that? That was like the only interesting thing in there. In this stupid place over here. Uh, so up to the Gorgon. On floor four or something, Nibis is hanging out with Leonard, our old dead friend, and some other- that one random guy who took over the castle. Uh, this place we were screwing around with. They were both there as zombies, and he was ranting about how he couldn't, uh... There was a, sp a spell exists that lets you turn people into undead, and then another one that I have lets you resurrect them, but it doesn't stop them aging, so he was trying to solve that problem, and we interrupted and killed him. He turned into a lich and ran to floor 100. So, nothing between that point and the rest of this mess. Like, there were a couple dialogue battles where- I think, I think where... all that's needed to spell out how much of that dungeon you've put up with is to look down and see half a million goth. <laughs> that's right. Oh my god, what a shitty place. Uh, we got to the end, and Nibis is there, and we kill him in like one swing from all the crap that I gathered on the way there. It was such an anticlimactic- and you know what we got for all that is a spell that I already had, Necro. We got two of them now. Two useless spells. We got, uh, ridiculous. You got like three glass pumpkins? Yeah, that's the other fucking thing. I went ahead and cheated the other seven of those, because those drop off of gremlins. Basically, 90% of that dungeon is random battles that are not even in... They didn't even design a map for it, it's just a square. And across the way is six enemies at random, and if there are gremlins, they have like a 50% chance to drop a pumpkin. So I ran into maybe eight gremlins in the entire time, and I got three pumpkins. So I guess I just went ahead and cheated ten more. We don't actually need them except to get super denib. So, apparently she's ridiculously hard to get, and, um, so I have those. I cheated seven more of them into my inventory. That's the one thing I cheated. Nice ogre hat. Oh yeah, that too. Um, people were talking about, um, uh, apparently in the PSP version, if you wear all four of these ogre pieces, you get 900 defense or something. That's not true in this one. This one's just some piece of garbage. It's actually not that good. Like, <laughs> the, the ogre... Uh, the advice site that I had that had the auction results in it agreed that there are like <laughs> sets of gear that synergize, just not to that extreme. They just have some hidden benefits if you have the full set on. I have some crazy gear. Like most of it is, like the ogre set is generally the strongest defense and the angel set's next in line and it's usually dark versus holy resist kind of thing. So that's what most of this crap is. Most of the stuff I'm missing is, oh, you don't have the wind version. So none of that really matters. Like, we have an angel armor here, it's just like 13, I think the ogre is 20 defense, I never found that. I have an ogre sword, and it's it's okay, I guess. It's 36 strength, that's, uh, yeah, that's not as good as my axe here. Not even close. This soul-eating axe is 48 damage. Uh, and that is absolutely garbage compared to this sword that I made over here. For my princess, and she's wearing it because it just so happens that uh, it's got a bunch of end on it. Where's that? There it is. Philo. Philo is the name of some idiot lich I recruited. Um, if you use a spell called Snapshot, you can turn a person into a sword and it takes their stats in half, and that becomes the sword stats. So, the best weapon I have, I just said, is like 48 damage or something. This one is 67 with 137 in it and 35 agility and 23 vit and... <laughs> yeah. So Would there's... you like your character to just be two characters stacked on top of each other? Here you go. That's basically it, yeah. And we can do that. I haven't done that more than once, so before we head into the final zone here, I'm gonna mess around a little bit. I was setting this up. I, I just went ahead and random battled and recruited some random lady. Where's she at? I need a sword for my main guy, that's the problem the alleged problem. I mean, basically there's no challenge left in this game after what we went through. The shit that she can cast now, let me let me look at this dragon magic actually. This is the big deal of stuff we got in there. There are like... We did get the forbidden death magic. I haven't even used it yet. It's probably complete garbage, just like the other ones, so who cares? I would like to check it out, I guess. I'll, I'll use that, but... This entire tree here, this dragon magic crap, every single spell here is unfair. They are basically the forbidden magic, except without the side effect of hitting your own troops. So they literally just hit the entire enemy squad for hundreds of damage. 
uh, every time you cast one. And that's not all, like this one, this one lowers the attack power of all the enemies after it hits them for 200. This one is able to resurrect uh, a ghost into a normal person again. This is what Nivis was after, <laughs> this spell basically, he missed it on his way down I guess because it was in there. Uh, it turns them into a level 1, so they keep their stats. So I can turn somebody into a ghost with Necro, and then turn them into a level 1 with all those stats with this. Which is what I'm gonna do here, just real quick. And give that sword to, <laughs> to my fucking guy. Uh, this one is... it hits the entire screen and then stuns everybody with ice. Uh, then there's the lightning version, and I don't know what the hell Entify is. This one kills the caster and resurrects your entire team. I, I can't imagine ever being in the incredibly niche situation of needing to do that, but there it is. That's probably the only one that sucks, and this one's just fire. It's the whole screen. So that's that. That's what. That's the primary award. It really sounds like it's there to be a gimmick for an enemy. Oh yeah, it's like the. You know what? It probably is. I probably just didn't let the dude cast it. That was a thing that they said Angel Knights were good for, they can apparently drain mana from people to keep them casting their spells, but they never got them off anyway. Because I have a... kind of a cheat plan to try and minimize how annoying those hundred floors were, here's what happens. Um, so we got one of those spells from the Suicidal Jackass on floor 2 or something, and it was as good as any of the other ones honestly, so... I just get my Swordmaster here charged, and I get him to go first, he's the first up. And right after him, this fairy, her weight is specifically engineered to be... And I think she might actually be different. Anyway, she goes immediately after him. Like, he's he's supposed to be 360... He leveled up, so let me put one more weight on her. She's literally one weight too, too shy here. It's her ogre helmet. What can we put on her that makes her weigh two more? Oh, that'll do it. Anyway, she is now second, so the first guy gives my princess mana, and then the fairy goes next and gives her an instant turn, and then that's it. <laughs> she just hits the screen for 200 damage. That's what I did the entire time. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to, um, I think this is the lady, yeah, this is the lady I just recruited, just randomly recruited, so I'm going to get her killed. And then I'm going to resurrect her into a ghost, and I'm going to turn that ghost into an Amazon. And I'll level it up like ten times just to show how it works, and then we'll turn her into a sword, and we'll give that to my boy, and then we'll go into the final dungeon. I also need to recruit Denim, so... Does, do you know what days that was on for Rhyme, or... I can go anywhere, but Rhyme or uh, Fia Castle would be the easiest? Yeah, those two are on like the first and second. We get in a random battle here. Random battles, come on, you won't leave me alone when I don't want them, but when I'm looking for them and never get them, there we go. Fight it out. Okay. So, a lot of these guys, like, I should kill this guy too, but the fact is that he's a warlock, so his stats are just gonna make another Ent Sword. I would like one that's actually geared for my Terra Knight. Not that it really matters, that sword she has is insane. It's hard to describe how strong it is. But even that hundred and some int only gets her a hundred magic damage. People have 300 health, so for her to go from 120 to 200 damage isn't some game-breaking thing. It's pretty nice, but it's not like, oh wow, she just wiped out the whole screen in one hit. She almost does. Like, I could get another fairy and get her two shots in a row, that could be done. I just haven't done it. Where's that lady I need to get killed here? There you are. I guess we'll drop out the, uh, gunner. Oh, one nice thing. They do a really bad job of describing some of these items. Um, the wizard lady, she is wearing, and she, her too, they're wearing these holy and evil robes. It doesn't say anything about the robes on the description other than all their holy defense and int, but they actually double mana regen, so that one spell that hits like ten times, she can cast it on as soon as she's up. <laughs> it's fucking nice. Yeah, this game is, this game is, uh, the Dark Knights should just get out of here. They're, they're completely screwed. They should have gone down Hell's Gate, they never did, that's their punishment. So we're just going to 
suicide this lady. I never really abused this. Like, apparently this lets you get past the level cap, which is really high, honestly. It's level 50, we're 34, and we're way past the point of being uh, done with this, so... It's like, whatever. But you could go to 99 if you break the game with that res spell. If you really wanted to, I don't know why you would bother, but... Does she even have a good spell on anymore? She has death. Let's cast that. I never saw that one. Death is the forbidden magic that's black. Apparently this uh, naked lady is faster than my fairy. Just barely. Anyway, here's death. I like to see the, the SNES effects on these spells. Just once. This is another one of these garbage spells that hurts us. Apparently there's no holy version. Oh, hello. So that's, um, that's gonna be bad for us if it's hitting us for that much. Learn those bandits, though. God. Did I kill any of my team with that? Hopefully not my priestess. I know she nearly died from that crap. Jesus Christ. 21 health left. What a shitty spell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah! The perfect time to start casting pain. Oh, we have a bunch of these. I forgot to even mention them because they're so stupid, but, uh... The king who fought the other king and lost in the Unity War or whatever, uh, his ghost was hanging out and he was just, like... He was so happy that we were fighting Backroom that he was giving us random powers like this. Most of them are stupid. This one's, like, uh, pushing the enemy away. It does damage to you for doing it. Uh, my Swordmaster actually has one of the few good ones. It does his dex for damage. It ignores defense, so if he has an enemy that's got a lot of HP, he can hit them for exactly um, 338, which is pretty much everything's HP, and it's a two-range tile thing. Uh, this guy has the other one. He has the ability to turn somebody to stone. That's nice. It's pretty much guaranteed. It's also two tiles. So they have that kind of shit. There's really not very many good ones in that. Oh, this spell's ready. I had to switch emulators, which really made me scared, because my shit looked like it broke forever and took my save, but I did fix it. So I had to switch to this emulator to even get the game working again. So now Turbo is kind of a pain. Whatever. That's why the FPS shows up. I need to kill Cosmos over there. I'm allowed to kill her myself. I'm allowed to just uh, betray her, shoot her in the back. That dragon will probably get her. What the hell is that? I've never used this one. Turn agony into power and reduces the HP. Oh, you know what this is? It's um, it's pain. It's basically the wizard spell pain, except for sword skill. That's pretty interesting that he has that. See, I, I don't even remember getting these, that's how little I've used them, because I had those instant death spells for so long. Get out of here, dragon. I need to kill her and resurrect her in this battle before that knight gets over here. So I'll one-shot him. This game was made by the people who made Final Fantasy Tactics, so if you like that one, you probably like this. Okay, she's dead. <laughs> I have a bow that stuns the enemy. I have another one that charms the enemy. Oh, don't worry. You've got a fate worse than death. I'm gonna lock your sword. Okay, she's ready. So I don't know why we had Necro in Chapter 2. Apparently it's the reward for that shitty dungeon that should never have been made by anybody. But it will 
Resurrect uh, any human. They have to be human. I can't do this to, like, Cannabis. Uh, but I can turn a human into a... Oh, we get the flavor text. How rare. What? <laughs> that doesn't sound like a bargain. Okay, there's Cosmos the Skeleton. By the way, I'm gonna have to show you my kill count on the Princess. Who just joined our team not too long ago. If you want to take a guess as to how high that fucking number is. After 100 floors. Low hundreds? Uh, I'll tell you that Denim and Cannabis, they have like 100 each. And they're my top two. Uh, she's way past them. Excuse me, just gonna grab a strength card real quick, yep. 